They seem to like the oh, they seem to like the microphone. What's up, Birdie? Ow! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Ben, good morning. Today, we're doing a video of just me. No, not just me, me and my family. We took a short trip to Utah for a few family items, some important stuff, graduation, bridal shower, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm cramming it into one little video for you, so stick around for that. It's early, it's like before seven, but we are on the road, headed west. We're in a, uh, we're sporting the minivan today and all the kids are nestled in the back. So we're almost to Iowa. That's our first state change. And then on to Nebraska. Weather across Colorado was stormy. So we went the north route. Libby, are you excited to go to Utah? Yeah. What's today? You, it's your dad's birthday? He's yeah. 30. Lucky guy. <laughs> All right, first fuel up. Somewhere in Nebraska. Kids had to use the restroom, so we're topping off. This is the ride of the week. A minivan packed full of kids and gear so we'll see how it does fuel wise okay it's uh, fuel stop number two we're in Sydney Nebraska which is almost to the Wyoming border. We're about halfway. Some of you probably wonder why I'm in a minivan. I don't own a minivan. This is not my minivan. We rented this car because um, my car only seats four. My wife's car is big and uses a lot of gas. So renting a car actually costs about the same as using our own and then I don't have to change the oil because we're going about, we'll put about 3,000 miles on this trip. That's why we rented, and it's a different setup than ours. It's easier to take a trip with this, so. Eight hours, is that what we're into? Um, yes. We're almost eight hours, and we're about to cross into Wyoming. The interesting thing about Wyoming and Nebraska is it's so flat here, right until you cross the border and then all of a sudden it's mountains so we're starting to see hills but in like five minutes we're going to be in the mountains which is for the flatlanders like they call us we like to see the mountains okay we're crossing into wyoming now of this are we going to have? We made it to the land of snow, apparently. So the record was broken out here at the Alta Ski Resort. 
How many inches did they get this year? 900, over 900 inches. And the old record was like 700. So that's quite a season of snow. So I drove on my birthday and I guess my wife has gotten a bunch of people to meet us at this ice cream place down here. I spoiled the surprise listening to conversations. Other siblings may have called at the wrong time, but where was I supposed to go? I'm stuck in the car. Anyway, the uh, my kids are meeting me there. I knew that, and I guess there's other people that'll be there. So, thanks to my beautiful wife, I will have some birthday ice cream. Oh, yeah. And, man, it's still snowy. It's really snowy. It's awesome. Anyway, so we're about an hour out from our final destination. It's been a long day, but the sun is still up, so that's good. Hopefully I don't hit a deer going down this canyon like I did when I was 19. What happened? Water, 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 water. That water. Did we go through a secret tunnel? Yes! yes. <laughs> With the secret water. tunnel! <laughs> So we came to grandma's house, right? Uh -huh. And she's got some birds. Hey, Johnny. She's got some birds. She's got like 700 birds, right? Yeah. What, what's your favorite birds? Pigeons. The pigeons. So they're right over here. And they're like curly cute pigeons, right? Yeah. And then she has some peacocks. Hey, yeah. And there's a duck. And then did you see the baby goose? Let's go look at the baby yeah, goose. Yeah, I Come saw on. that one. So let me give you an idea of this bird facility. Emus, geese have got the baby goose. There's peacocks in the back. Unfortunately, they put their feathers down when I get close. They don't like guys. And you've got chickens, and I can't remember the kind of pigeon she said, but they're pigeon-ish, curly Q pigeons. They got tons of chickens, and, and then they have tons of peacocks over there of different varieties and colors. Pretty cool. And then they got these uh, poofy chickens. I like the poofy chickens. I can't remember what she called them. But they like, looks like they're wearing uh, big winter jackets and they strut around. Check these guys out. <laughs> so they've got uh, metal on this side so we can't see the the peacocks but they don't like men so if i get in there they put their feathers down but they've got some white ones and a normal like bluish colored one pretty cool
She just fogged up my camera. <laughs> Can you ride it? I don't want to ride it. Alpha is the girl. Max is the camera. Pretty I scared him. Oh crap, you scared him. Wait, don't. Oh, yeah, look. They're all spread out over there. All right, maybe you can see I'm in shorts. Obviously, I always am in shorts. There's Mount Nebo with snow on it. Gorgeous. And it's like 50 degrees down here. Utah's pretty cool. And this is Johnny. Hey, Johnny, say hi. <laughs> so they used to have goats, lots of horses. And uh, I guess they've gotten gotten into birds instead of goats. So. Two hours later. We're headed to college graduation. <laughs> Mrs. Ben looking very hot. And the kids all dressed up ready for graduation. So we're going to go pick up my daughter and take her we can find her apartment up here. <laughs> Never been there, so we'll see. Okay, graduation time. Are we ready? Yeah. Yay! There's all these crazy people out there getting ready too. So we're gonna go join the madness. Yay! Can you participate in class? He pointed out that my test score reflected an understanding of the genomics concepts we were learning. Hello guys, it's me, Olivia, and um, we, guess where we are? We are at my grandma's house now, and we're just here, and it's almost like time for lunch or dinner, probably didn't even eat lunch, and it, if you know, I am Ben's I am Ben's daughter, Olivia, and you may have seen me sometimes, but you may have not. And if you like and subscribe if you want to know. So. so I have to jump in here because after graduation, we came back to the house and the whole family came. And I wasn't privy to the knowledge that everybody had rock climbing RC trucks. So we'll stick a little bit of that footage in here. Hmm. 
Do you turn the car on first before the remote? You turn the remote on first. Or else your car can just take off and run away from you. Flex it! Flex it! Oh crap. We're gonna roll it. Yep. Rolled it. Oh! You had it! Oh, now you really done it. <laughs> what did you do to your hand? <laughs> Are you feeling better? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way. Put it in a pony Flex it out. Yes, this one's got a driver. What's the little thing here? What are you carrying? A little six by six. <laughs> Does it crawl pretty good? It's all right for a little kid. It's gunner, gunner, nice. Good job, man. All right, that's going to be enough for today. There is more footage if you guys are interested and seeing more of the Utah trip, uh, snowmobiling, other stuff like that, go ahead and comment below. If we get like 10 people to comment that they want to see the rest, I'll bore you with the rest. Other than that, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. see how many bugs we can splatter on the windshield on our way but it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day and the interesting thing about leaving stuff under your seat is you kick it <laughs> apparently we're going to the church of dirt <laughs>
have these really cool pheasants. And I was just uh, going to turn on the camera because the peacocks were making a lot of noise. But they stopped now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> She's like, I'm out. Forget it. 